Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to come out to your beautiful home here and assess your roof. Just want to carry you up on the roof right now and um, give you a quick, uh, just give you a quick once over or overview of the current state of your roof. So this is an old three tab asphalt shingle that is no doubt nearing the end of its useful life. Um, things that show us that and tell us that are that you're starting to lose adhesion. So these shingles are curling up on the edges and very brittle. And what will happen is when you start getting this curling, wind is able to get underneath of these shingles and lift them directly up to expose the nails. And there's no flexibility. They just are crunchy and very, very brittle. So this is a lead plumbing boot, and you can see that these squirrels have really done a number on this. We actually, Tadlock Roofing does not use lead boots anymore, as squirrels are very much a big problem in this area. We now use a bullet boot, which is squirrel deterrent and also looks a whole lot better. Um, I was not able to find where the water is getting through and dripping down in the computer room. Not exactly sure, and that may be due to, again, the curling of these tabs. So what happens is when water's sheeting down this roof, instead of sitting flat, it's, it's raised up, again, curling, and water's able to get up underneath there and ultimately get on the nail that's below. So that may be what's going on. Um, I can't confirm that again, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. And the other thing I wanted to point out to you guys is that you have two means of attic ventilation up here. And what, what, what the problem with this is, is that one is feeding off of the other and they're not functioning properly. You only need one vent up here. We use a ridge vent from end to end end to end and that's all we use see what happens is this vent is supposed to feed off of your soffits and cycle fresh air from the bottom up to the top what's going on here is that this is feeding this and eliminating the actual um, process if you will so you still got a lot of heat and stagnant air down low and up here higher in the attic area is probably cycling but again it's not pulling from where it should way down here so we want to eliminate these off ridge vents and put a more functional ridge vent on here and that's going to absolutely help ventilate and keep this place cool this attic cool in the summertime all right guys that does it just want to thank you so much again for the opportunity hope this video was helpful